This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, how there, how there, it's Jeff Cutter Dial welcoming you to another Sports Catastrophe birthday boy and the birthday boy for today, November the 24th. Was the second commissioner in NFL history after Pete Rozelle. He served from 1989 to 2006 in that role, 17 years. And he even went to Georgetown to become board of directors. But anyway, this guy was decent. All that. His name is Paul Tagliabue, who is now 83 years old. Tagliabue was born in Jersey City, New Jersey. Third of four sons. Played basketball at Georgetown in the 60s. He was a world scorer finalist. He got his law degree from New York University, but honorary degrees from Colgate and Northeastern as well. Tag Blue for 20 years was a lawyer with Covington and Burling. Watched it for, and somehow, in some way, he got to be the new commissioner of. The NFL after Pete Rozelle lasted 29 years and did a lot of things. Tagua Boo was known for uh, many things in the NFL. First off was the expansion of the league from 28 to 32 teams. It had been 28 teams since 1976 and they were looking to add more on, so he decided to do a couple of expansion things. In 93, he announced plans for two new teams to join by 1995, making it 30 teams. And in a big bidding process, Charlotte and Jacksonville, or Carolina and Jacksonville, the UME, got in. A 31st team came in by the name of Cleveland in 99. After Cleveland, of course, he was involved in the whole Cleveland situation about them leaving for Baltimore. But Tagliabue made a deal that said Baltimore could have the Cleveland franchise. However, Cleveland's history, uniforms, and colors would be left back in Cleveland. So practically, the Ravens were kind of a quote-unquote expansion team, whereas Cleveland would be deemed inactive until they could get back on their feet, and they did in 1999. So Cleveland missed three years, but then they came back as the 31st team in 99. It was weird for years, just for a few years, to see a bye, one team have a bye in week 17. I mean, yeah, yeah, to play 16 straight weeks, something like that, and then to get a bye. So anyway, that happened, and then he added the 32nd team, Houston, in 2002, getting Houston back a team after they lost it to Tennessee. So anyway, Tegubu decided to start a spring developmental league called the World League of American Football with seven teams in North America and three in Europe so that players can develop themselves and then maybe make NFL stuff. The European teams looked good in 1991, and then the second season, the World League was shut down as the U.S side of the coin, didn't really understand it and all that. But he didn't give up on what they call a spring league, so in 95 he made it happen with NFL Europe, six teams all in Europe. Unfortunately, NFL Europe would be shut down in 2007 by Tank Blue's successor, Roger Goodell, because, you know, Germany had five of the six teams. And all that. Um, under Tegubu, also, there were a lot of team movements. LA in 94, the end of 94 season, lost both their franchises. The Raiders went back to Oakland and the Rams went to St. Louis. In 96, the Browns moved to Baltimore. Houston would move to Tennessee, going through Memphis and Nashville before going to their permanent stadium in Nashville. And response to the September 11 attacks, Tag Blue said that two days later, well, on the Thursday, he said the games would be canceled. Obviously, he knew he had to do that. 
then it was announced the postponed games would be added to the end of the regular season, meaning that that week would be basically the, the last week of the season. And in a funny coincidence, the Jets and Raiders were supposed to play each other in the, well, the cancel games. They played the final week, and then they ended up facing each other in the postseason. Regardless, Tagabu did some good stuff and all that. He took a stand against the state of Arizona for refusing the state holiday of Martin Luther King Jr. So Arizona was going to get the Super Bowl in 93. Tagabu stood firm. Arizona refused to budge and all that. So Tagabu moved the Super Bowl to Pasadena. And once Arizona did allow the state holiday for Martin Luther King Then Arizona would be given a Super Bowl. They hosted Super Bowl 30 in 1996. And Tegubu is actually credited with convincing Tom Benson not to sell the Saints to San Antonio and to make the Saints return to Louisiana League priority because of Hurricane Katrina, the Saints were a vagabond team and played in different stadiums for home games. So. Yeah, the Saints could have moved to San Antonio, but no, Tegubu said he wanted the Saints to stay in New Orleans. And New Orleans is the team. After all, the city was in ruins, if you will. Anyway, Tegubu went back to his law firm of Covington and Burling after his retirement from the NFL. He's a senior counsel. Tegubu was named to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2021. Um, he and his wife have two children. One is actually openly gay, and the other, and well, the daughter married John Rockefeller the fifth. And you know, they live in Maryland, and Tagubu was a pretty good commissioner when he had to, and that's what he needed to be. After P P Roselle's stuff and all that for 29 years, Tagubu knew he had to, needed to grow the NFL in the 90s and 2000s, and he did just that, despite teams moving and, you know, the NFL trying to struggle with their identity and all that, he made it happen. He did. Anyway, I'm jumped, I'm gonna do.